Okay, so I promised to do a, a quick uh, first impression uh, review of these two controllers that I've tracked with Virtual DJ. And the first one is the, this, uh, the Numark DDA to go to. And the second one is the Hercules DDA Control Starlight. They're both uh, about the same size. The Starlight is a little bit bigger. Um, and they're both plastic and they're both probably meant to be sitting right in front of the laptop. Uh, for very tiny setups and maybe on the road setups and stuff like that. And uh, the build quality are, of course, very plastic on both of them. But uh, it seems to be a little bit better on the Starlight. The faders and the knobs especially uh, seems better over here than they do up here. They're much more loose and just feels cheaper. So, but there's been some horror stories about the Hercules USB port falling out. So that's, uh, that's of course, bad if that happens. Then uh, what, the, what are the differences? I mean, they're both uh, two decks, of course. They both uh, control all the basic stuff, uh, and the queuing and the playing and all this kind of stuff. So the, the difference uh, are mainly for the uh, the The good things about the, the Numark is, uh, is the, the control of browse and load. So just like you know it, you can load on each stack and scroll here through your, uh, through your tracks. And uh, Hercules don't have that at all. You will have to use a mouse or, or keyboard or, or whatever to load your tracks. Um, so uh, that's one thing that uh, the Numark have over the, the Hercules. But then there's the Hercules. And what does that have then? Well, it, uh, first of all, it has a dedicated filter knob, uh, which can also be a, ba a base nap, uh, you switch between that here, but a dedicated filter nap. And ever since the color VEX came out in, in uh, and put, got put on the filter nap in Virtual DJ, that means that you can also now do all call, all sorts of color effects uh, on the, the Hercules because of this functionality in Virtual DJ. So that's a really big plus. Second thing is that where, where the, uh, the Numark uh, doesn't have touch, this will, it will not be able to tell when you let go of the jog wheel, whereas uh, the Hercules uh, does have touch, so it'll tell, it'll be able to tell when you leave it, uh, when you let it go, and uh, and that's very very needed for uh, for for simple scratching or for any scratching, but for the simple scratching that can be done on this controller, that's probably also why it actually has a vinyl button, whereas the uh, the Numark does not have that. It doesn't really support scratching of any, of any kind. It's not supposed to do that. So you can actually scratch on this one down here. And then the, the final point I want to make is that it has a shift button. That mean, basically means that anything can do twice as much. And I have no idea why they left that out on the new app, because it's a great feature, especially for Virtual DJ, where everything can be mapped and remapped. You can do so much more when everybody every button can do two things. So uh, I've, uh, I've very heavily remapped the new mark, so I can do most of the things I normally do when I DJ, but I haven't really had to do much on the... On the Hercules, um, because everything is basically already there, including like uh, pitch re slow, like slow pit pitch res uh, set and filter and all the stuff that I that I often need. And of course, it looks like uh, there's twice as many options for uh, for the for the pad modes up here, because um, but with shift, they're the same amount down here. And also note that those are on both decks. So up here. If you change the pad mode, which basically changes the pad page, you change it on both decks. Whereas down here, you can have separate pad pages on each deck, which of course gets you a lot of functionality if you need pad, uh, both sets of pads for doing a, a mix, where both sets, uh, well, like uh, one of them does a loop or any other one uh, does maybe a loop out or whatever, uh, then you can actually do that. So if I had to pick just one, at this point in time, having only DJed with it for a couple of days after remaking them, I would, I would pick the the Hercules, uh, DJ Control Starlight. That's it for now.